four things I wish somebody had told me in my 20s. Now that I'm in my late 30s, I wish I had done so much sooner. When I was in my 20s, it was the era of not using a moisturizer and I wish I would have. In fact, now it's a non-negotiable in every one of my routines. There are many reasons why a moisturizer is so important. One, they keep our skin soft hydrated and supple. Moisturizers not only create a barrier between your skin and the environment, but that also helps to seal in precious hydration that can leave your skin due to transepidermal water loss. A great moisturizer will not only keep your skin looking more youthful, but it also can fill in micro cracks that happen on the surface of the skin and also maintains your skin's healthy cells and prevents them from drying out or having irritation. My personal favorite moisturizers have ceramides, lipids, glycerin, squalane, peptides, and fatty acids. I also love humectants in my moisturizers such as glycerin and hyaluronic acid because they also help keep the skin flexible. Whether you like a nice light moisturizer or a heavy rich cream, a moisturizer is so important in every single routine no matter what your skin type is. Next thing I wish I had known in my 20s was to double cleanse. In fact, a lot of times cleanse at all. This requires two cleanses. The first should be a balm or an oil. First cleanse is so important because it not only removes makeup, it removes oils, excess oils, and it removes sunscreen and debris, but it also deeply cleanses the skin and prepares it for your next cleanse, which should be a water-based product. Now, if you can't find an oil or a balm cleanser you love, you can also use micellar water during the first cleanse. The second cleanse typically is one that is more targeted for treatment. I love something that helps clear out pores if you're somebody with hyperpigmentation. I love a cleanser with vitamin C if you're somebody who's a little more acne prone, a little bit of salicylic acid. You can really make your second cleanse more custom to your skin. Next up, number three, is to exfoliate, but don't. Don't get confused. One, I wish somebody would have told me to exfoliate my body in my 20s. Now that I'm a little bit older, I can definitely see where my body should have been exfoliated just as routinely as my facial skin. I, again, love a really nice, like gritty cleanser for the body, especially over rough areas where skin can have a buildup of skin cells. Also, it's going to just help as you shave, clean and clear and it's going to help long-term have less hyperpigmentation or sun damage. Now, on the flip side, I wish I had exfoliated my face less in my 20s. It caused my skin to dry out. I had a broken down skin barrier, and I definitely see that with a lot of people, that one, they don't use a moisturizer, and then they are over exfoliating. So you should really know your skin. It will tell you when you need to exfoliate, but I do recommend once or twice every 10 days. You can use a chemical exfoliant, a physical exfoliant, or a mix of both. Tip number four I had wish I had known in my 20s is to sleep on my back and elevated. So my entire life I slept on my side and that has definitely caused more volume loss on one side of my face as well as causing deeper wrinkles and lines. Now this is just due to the fact that your head is around 11 pounds and when you are sleeping all of that weight smushes the skin and when you wake up, a lot of times you can kind of see those lines, but over time, this actually leads to resting lines. So I have started to sleep on my back in the last couple of years, and I have seen such a big difference. With that being said, I also sleep slightly elevated, and that's only because that helps with lymphatic drainage. If you're somebody who gets puffy under eyes, it will help that issue as well. So definitely, if you can, start learning how to sleep on your back, slightly elevated, and you will see in a few years, it will pay off. I talk about this a lot. <laughs> 
This is actually what helped me to train to sleep on my back. Sleep and Glow Pillow, which is engineered to actually train you to sleep on your back. I actually just pop a little pillow underneath of it. Keeps me elevated and I have definitely woken up with less lymphatic under my eyes. I feel more refreshed and it's just so much better for your entire lymphatic system. I hope these tips helped. I'd love to hear your tips for 20-somethings in the comments below.